Let's talk about Menagerie. We'll talk about the pros, cons, direction, early, mid and late game, the best units for every tribe, best heroes, countering and the general game plan. So what's the general game plan? Menagerie is a build that gradually scales and improves the board. There's no instant spikes to get insanely strong compared to builds like beasts. It's also super flexible. There's multiple kinds of scaling and direction that you can possibly hit. Every Menagerie game looks different. This leads to loads of freedom and decisions, but this can result into players being paralyzed by everything that's possible and knowing what the best things are to do. So that's where this guide comes into play. On to the pros of playing a menagerie board. You can counter pretty much any opponent by changing up your menagerie. It's playable with almost every single hero and in every single lobby. Also the flexibility and the freedom which we talked about during the game plan. A Hyrule menagerie is also potentially one of the strongest things in the game, mainly because of Amalgadons, the multiple divine shields and the cleaves. What about the cons? There are loads of hard decisions that you have to make throughout the entire game and that is because it's not as simple as for example just hitting a Caligos and spamming a bunch of battle cries. It can also be pretty meta dependent. If there are certain tribes super strong then why would you play Menagerie if you won't outscale the other high rollers? Luckily as of making this video that is not the case. Alright let's deep dive into how you Menagerie. Early game you just play for as much tempo as possible. This is just a general rule at the start of the game but it's especially good with Menagerie because some of the strong tempo plays that you make could stick on the board permanently if you hit the right direction. Generally I always aim to get at least three different tribes on the board as soon as possible because you will get Mug and Jug value which are some of the best buffs and tempo that you can find. The more different tribes that you have on the board the more buffs that you can take. Turning most of your shops into valuable ones that you can utilize instead of just useless trash. It also means that you get more value from Menagerie direction which we're about to get into and in case we hit something different we can easily transition into demons or murlocs, dragons, whatever because you already have some of the pieces of it on the board. Quick reminder if you're enjoying this video I have loads of guys like these currently on the channel and I plan on making a lot more in the future so if you want to catch those make sure you've hit the subscribe button since it's completely free and I'll promise to give you some good content in return. Also one second to click that blue button in the bottom is also incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now the mid game. Here we finally figure out if it'll be Menagerie or something else depending on the triples that we hit or the direction that we roll in our shop. If you're Menagerie it usually starts off as a mishmash. This is the technical term for a pretty weird board that looks like a bunch of random shit thrown together. But depending on the direction that we roll we can mold that mishmash into an ideal endgame board. First we have to identify what our permanent units are. Which units are at this point too big to sell or have great value later on. I'll also cover these best units in a bit. Then we look to replace our worst units with better ones. Generally speaking you always keep one board spot open to cycle buffs. Don't board lock yourself too hard. What happens in the next coming turn vastly differs depending on the scaling that you hit. So let's get into that direction now. First of all you have Mitrex. This is just a powerful body to have on the board no matter what other crap you have. You can easily sell stuff and replace it without losing Mitrex value. It's amazing. This isn't going to strictly lock you into Menagerie though. You can always use his massive body to just be strong, level up and transition into something else. Then there's Lightfang, one of the best units to hit early on because once it's on the board it will do all the work for you. You can just sit back, fill out your board and let the Lightfang do the buffing without having to commit any gold or resources. Even though it's an amazing early hit the buffs fall off quickly unless you can get a golden Lightfang going. We also have Bran, he's a lot slower than Lightfang. When you hit him early he's just a 2-4 that does nothing on your board. Then you have to fill out your board and spend all your gold on good buffs, that is if Bob is kind enough to offer them. So he's a bit less consistent. The longer the game goes on, the better Bran gets. On higher tiers you can pull off crazy powerful turns. And sometimes Bran even gets you great value for free or even generates money with things like Lookout, Murlzond, Tempest. It's also the best enabler for Amalgadons, you know, the best unit currently in the game. Because of this you generally prefer to hit a Lightfang first, find your permanent units, level up and then transition into a Bran in order to pop off. Another tier 5 unit is Agam, currently one of the strongest menagerie directions in the game because it can easily outscale everything with the right tools. If you triple into Agam without any gem generation like Bonker, he's probably not worth it. It's best to find a source of gems first, ideally flat on tier 6 and as soon as you got her it's a simple GG. It's important to note that Menagerie and Quillbores go hand in hand and they have great synergies together. Okay now there's one more stage that we have to go through. 
the late game. Generally, your goal is to just get as big as possible and find two Divine Shield Poison Amalgadons. Then depending on your final opponents, you'll have to look for specific tech cards to slot in. So with Menagerie, you often have one flex spot on the board that you use to play buffs in. Now this can be filled with a selfless hero, a ghoul, Nadina, whatever. Most of the time, you'll also have a second spot free where your brand or light thing used to be. In the final turns, it's worth giving up all of your scaling for a better game winning unit. Sometimes you might even have more more spaces on the board if you have double light fang or agam flatusk and you want to sell both so it's all about giving up on your engines in order to set up for the final battles now if you're having trouble with any of these stages of the game or with some basics like leveling and positioning i do have a playlist for beginners that covers all of this that i would recommend you check out so what are the best menagerie units for every tribe now it's important to remember that if you already have a massive unit that it's often not worth it to sell it just for a better unit because you might just die in the process. Anyway, beasts obviously like a good old Hydra. A massive cleave can just win games on its own. Some other cards worth mentioning are Macaw, if you can pull off a Macaw selfless endgame. Maxna because it has poison, and Coiler which can high roll some crazy death rattles like a selfless hero or a boat. Demons, they literally don't matter since most of the time you'll just end up eating them on repeat with a soul devourer. The only noteworthy demons are a battle master to start with because it's just a good pile of stats and an imp mama since it can generate some value. For dragons it's mainly bronze warden because it has insane tempo early on and fits on almost every board. You know, because it has a divine shield and reborn. Other than that, most dragons have some sort of small potential upside. Elementals, same deal. Cyclone has a divine shield and is also just a strong pickup early. Wildfire can cause some good damage as well. With max, it also really doesn't matter what you take because you can just slap a module on that bad boy and suddenly you have a huge taunted divine shield unit. Some of the better targets are Deflectobot since it comes with a shield and you have the potential to reset it. Sneeds can high roll something like like a Maxna and Four Reaper once again is a cleave that can obliterate entire boards on its own. Every Murloc is pretty much the same so just take whatever and give it poison. Pirates are pretty bad for Menagerie since they don't really have any special effects. The best ones are probably Grubber because it could get some extra growth on its own, Ogre because it can generate you some money if you roll gamblers, Bagel can also generate you some extra value and Eliza is a really good power spike so it's a strong early addition for your Menagerie. Finally for Quillbores you have Tough Tusk as a Divine Shield unit, Bonker to generate some extra buffs and it has Wind Fury. Bristleback Knight is another Divine Shield unit that can potentially regain his shield and has Wind Fury. It's super good. And let's not forget about Flat Tusk and Agam, which are arguably some of the best targets to hit. Now onto heroes. Which ones perform the best with Menagerie? Well, as mentioned previously, most heroes and lobbies can pull off Menagerie, but some will have a slight advantage because of their hero power. George can turn any unit into a good Menagerie unit because they can all have a Divine Shield, making him extremely flexible so you just play for full tempo and try to hit any sort of scaling. Janice can explode with a brand because of her hero power, add in a Jug, a Mulligadon, Lookout, and she'll find a way to abuse it. Millhouse also has the ability to just buy every buff that he finds in a shop because they only cost one gold for him, while rolling will cost him two. Queen Whack Toggle's hero power is literally a mini light fang. The curator enables Menagerie really well but also almost forces you into it. The same with the Rat King. You're strong for just taking whatever your hero power buffs early on. Now this doesn't make these heroes good by any means. Other than those there are a couple other heroes that have a small upside but they are neglig negligible. <laughs> I can't pronounce that word. Negligible. <laughs> Negligible. Lastly, let's talk about countering. So how do you counter Menagerie? Honestly, there is no set formula for this because like mentioned before, every Menagerie game is different. Either try to outstat them or find weaknesses in their board. Maybe a ghoul is great because they have two perfect Amalgadons and a bunch of Menagerie units with a shield. It's a great skill to try and read your opponent's board and figure out a win condition. But a high roll Menagerie can be insanely hard to beat properly. You got all this knowledge now, so let's give you some examples. The first game I'm gonna show you is a clean transition from Light Fang Matrix early on into Bran and then into a sweet endgame Menagerie setup. The second game will show you one of the strongest combos in the game which is the Argon Flat Tusk Menagerie combo. Now if you want to see more games like these I occasionally upload them on the second channel or if you rather catch them live then well you're at the right place because I stream mainly here on YouTube and I do off hours and random streams on Twitch. But enough talking for now, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy these example games. Oh ho ho!
Nice. You guaranteed a minion? No, like with Yogg, you, you can buy the token. You don't need to hero power into it. Like if I didn't hit the token here, next time I just freeze. And then turn two, I buy token, sell hero power. And then you do Yogg curve. So if you, if you don't hero power into it, you can still reliably do the curve if you just find a token in the, one of the two turns. Does that make sense? Like this turn, you can buy, sell hero power. Which I'm a huge fan of. We hold this. When do you usually stream? It depends. Like, I don't really have a set time. But it's usually between 2 p.m. and 11 p.m. CET, or Brussels time zone. <laughs> Got the pie, it's always the pirate. Next time we can level again. Dude, this is so strong. Next time we just level cell here, power. Pretty good. We caught up with the normal leveling curve already, and we're gonna be ahead next turn. I feel like nobody cares about Bren anymore. No, Bren is still good. You shouldn't undervalue it. Oh, but other people don't... Uh, yeah, I feel like there there is a lot of new scaling introduced now, which makes Brand of obviously a little bit worse. But yeah, the fact that you get easy golden brands, it's good. Bear? Twice in a row? Yeah, I don't know. The odds are very low, but it can happen. Otherwise it wouldn't happen to you, right? <laughs> uh, No. This is a hyper level Yog curve. Usually with Yog, I, you level a little bit, like you level next turn. But because we hit the Swabby and the tokens, we can level here. Winning the lottery is super likely. Never put money in the lottery, guys. It's just a scam. <laughs> it's literally a scam. Which one do I prefer here? Selfless buffs this. This might get stronger because of the beasts. I think I prefer selfless though. I really don't want to do hyena stuff. This thing can get better. Exactly. Uh, I would suggest to anyone that gets mad a lot at percentages to check my latest podcast with uh, Victor. He's one of the best players in Battlegrounds. He's played the game since it was released and he's always top leaderboard. Also a really massive streamer. And he talks about how um, about tilt and how you manage it and how to look at the game. Because it's this concept of there's things you can control and can't control in your life. And the more you focus on what you can control, like even if you can't control it and you're like, there's probably something I could have done about this. And it's probably my fault anyway. You're actually gonna end up being better. You're gonna tilt less, you're gonna get better at the game, focus more. So if you're into that sort of stuff, check it out. A little bit, my loads are so, but. You don't break even. The lottery is designed to make money, so there's no way that you break even unless you get lucky. 9 out of 10, you're gonna end up losing money. I don't know the exact odds, I'm not gonna say 9 out of 10, I, I guess it's like 60 or 70%. I don't know. Uh, I wonder if we hear a power here. I think we just buy the elemental. <laughs> Prefer the pirate in case of Eliza. So we're weak now. This is a weak turn for us. But next turn we have a six drop. Six drop on turn seven. This curve is crazy, that's why I like Yogg. You just need a single token that you can do whack shit. Oh, we might even win this, actually. Uh, he is value trading. 
Right side, right side. Nice, we tied! Dude, okay. Yo, what's up, Purd? It's been good, today's been good. Only one bottom four. What if we just take Cauldron and play Beasts? I never play Beasts anymore because it sucks, but we do have the Sorolisk and Red Bike. It's so bad. The Amalgadon is not fixable because there's no mechs, but we do have this in the shop. I think it's Amalgadon, Beast, Pirate, Elemental. Hmm. I feel like it is. Could buy a Murloc first to give it more adepts. No. Feels bad, man. <laughs> GG easy. That's pretty good. Got a freaking elbow chair. Hmm. And pair stream? Yeah, yeah. Still like hanging out there. There's a lot of other standard streamers that I still watch, even though I don't play standard, but their community is just nice. So I hang out there. Okay, we got menagerie stuff here. We got Light Fang. I think we just do menagerie raids. It's a cool boy. Mm hmm. Okay, now we got a board, we got a direction. Yeah, we still have a flex spot, which is good. I can triple whatever I want on a board. I, I don't think I go for a shitty triple, but I think I want to go for a Mitrex or Lightning triple. Could even level next turn, I guess. Like, if we win this fight, I'd probably just level. Yeah, I, li I like our setup a lot. Um, this guy has a golden spawn. Okay, so he tripled spawn of people. Golden Cyclone with four party elementals. And also Gribber. Okay, this test actually has a pretty good future, man. Pretty good future. Mm. We do take it pretty hard. I guess we don't level. Uh, shouldn't selfless go off the king bag? Wait, what do you mean? King? What king are we talking about? I don't want to waste one gold here, so I'm gonna... Oh wait, we can hear power? No, no, because then I could hear power into that. That's two triples, but I'm only gonna take one, obviously. <laughs> what? Push up? So what do you mean? Oh yeah, I'm just winning. I'm too good. <laughs> Bren! Bren. 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 <laughs> this one did get poison but no shield. I just need shield. I can get poison. Fuck. Yeah, adepts are kind of shit. Okay, the cleave leaves this as 1 HP, so that's good. Bottom 4 equals 10 push-ups. It's literally there. If I bottom 4, I do 10 push-ups. Okay, I guess you level. We just chill. There's not much I can do here. 
Lightsfing is so slow, but it's mainly this golden matrix that has to do the heavy lifting. I might triple Amalgam if I see it, because these don't have a shield. Like, they're just kind of scuffed, right? It's... I mean, language do you speak? Oh, was it mandatory for students at your high school to learn English? Yeah, it was. You have to learn English. I speak English, French, Dutch. French is not great, though, but I can speak a little bit of it. I understand a little bit of German, not much. And that's about it. How does he hit twice into my, my guy? Feels bad, man. Yeah, no, you could put Burgolo before self. I just don't really value it that much. As for a bathtub, I got push-ups. Yes, yes. Yeah, Matrix is such a good unit. People underestimate it a lot. How good it is. <laughs> if I hear power here, this is free. This is literally gaining me money, but I think you just roll. This thing could be another Amalgadon, which I kind of want. What's up, Thor? I need to sell something here. I'm just doing nothing. Um, I think the beast has the least value to me. Or is it Light Thing? Might be a Light Thing, actually. It buffs only four things. It's just... Hmm, no. That's a brand, okay. Gotta go fast. Dude, animations, hello? Uh, spider! I didn't play around Cleave properly, god damn it. I, did, I didn't have time. <laughs> we should be fine though. Okay, now we got we switched from uh, Lightfang into Brand, which is a lot better, especially on tier 5. Brand has a lot more possibilities, utility, skills, much more than the light thing. This guy's double light thing as well. <laughs> Why do whales live in salt water? No one likes. <laughs> Your power here is half of the time fine. Nice, you gain money. Light Fang? No. Ooh, this guy's still alive. Kinda want this. Um. Yeah, I'll just hold. There's no reason to make a play here, right? Although we could end on selfless, which just might be better than this. This guy had a massive, um, had two massive units, a massive golden cyclone and a golden spawn. Just tripled again into fives. Mixed units, I guess some sort of menagerie. You use him too long. It's better, so it's better to find light thing first, then find Bran, and then get out of Bran. And Agam Flatusk is actually a bit stronger than Bran right now because it's just more stats. But yeah, it, it needs two pieces. You need to set up for it. That's APM, APM God. Okay, this guy is incredibly massive. Shit, he got my poison. That's not lucky. Ah, uh, we might still win. This, this, this fucking beast, monster of a unit. I feel like it's so underrated. This, you, like, more people need to buy Matrixes. This guy sold his born. But Brand next? No, I wanted a bumper. I'd rather have Bumper. This guy probably doesn't have a cleave. I knew his board. He was more elemental stuff. Top 4. Nice. Nice. We keep getting the top 4s. No push-ups today. Dude, where's my buffs? Holy shit.
Hello? I'm on tier 6. These are all 1 and 2 star units and I guess they're 3 stars. Hot oh, damn. Taunting this is risky for Spore. So I think we just don't taunt it, we do this instead. I think I come out as well, honestly. It's so shit. It's two hearts and a diamond. By the end, you wish you had club and spins. <laughs> oh god, it's kind of grim. This thing is so. As soon as people don't have poison, we just win. Like, this is not beatable. Getting ripped? I only have to do push-ups once. I'm too good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I taunt Amal. Why? What is the point of taunting Amal? Get on. If you can give a good reason why, sure. That's poison, and most people put the vine shield units and spores first, so I don't want it to just die. Which is the main reason why I didn't do it. This song sounds like it's gonna be bad. Let's buy buffs, even though they're not great. Don't want flutters. Go. What is, dude? I'm on tier six. That's okay. We hit something decent. Sensor Matrix joke? Wait, what Matrix joke? You mean this? It's not censored, right? Ooh, yes, poison. Good thing I didn't taunt my good stuff. It is losable. If it's poison, it's here. I think it's losable. It's a one and three to lose here. Okay. Top two? Probably still top three. I don't think they kill each other. Ah, who just could kill this guy actually? Nah, it's okay. Come on, dude. I've been on tier six for so long. Okay. Triple Amalgadon. This, this is how we go about doing that. We face this Amalgadon. And then play it. Hopefully, he gets a shield. Wait! Ah, uh, misplay. I, I missed stats on this. I don't know why I played this first. I thought it was not a try, but it's a neutral and dumb. Shield. Nice. By fate or fortune. No shield again? God damn it. Actually selling this, right? The is actually stronger. <laughs> Priest for selfless? Probably not. How do I not have poison for this yet? Give a friendly more give a friendly poison a uh, murloc poison. A friendly murloc. Doesn't mean okay. This guy's super big. Holy shit! That's kind of insane, dude. Damn. Good thing I went with poison. We need we need to go scam comp against him. We never beat him normally. Only with scam. Oh, okay, we beat him, but we got lucky hits. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
So the selfless freeze was probably correct. Um, need to find Nadina, Nadina, selfless, spore, things like that. Now we beat him. But I guess Bob is just like, fuck you. Okay, that's good. Another Amalgadon. Amalgadon? Poison this or put another Poison Murloc in? Uh, actually, we do have another Duxman here. <laughs> You're down a minion and up a goal. I don't think we need a bumper against him, all position like this. He does have cleave, so I'll play a little bit around it. This thing has plans though, so if this dies, it is all automatically um protects me for cleave. So actually I don't need to use this. I could do this to play around cleave. This no. I mean I think it's still this, just an off chance that this doesn't die. I think this is winnable, just because we went with so much poison now. This needs to not hit a 1 in 3. Nice. This fucking cyclone though, holy shit. Okay, we play around Cleave, see? Now this, the plant protects me. I think we win because we have two poisons left. Yeah, we win, guaranteed. GG! What a game! Yogg is so fun, man. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of Rat Kings, I don't know why. The hero sucks. <laughs> yeah, finally getting some good heroes, I'm happy. We might buy this and hero power with this because we get the Hyena next turn and it's so strong, right? I think that's the play. So far I'm happy with the opener. We got a pair. We got some strong stuff. We got another pair. <laughs> and now we should be strong enough for a while. It shows that I'm gonna be boardlock next turn. I might not play this actually. I know you won't believe me. But I refuse. Go. We actually lost, holy shit. This guy had two buffs already. Or was that one buff? Mm. Yeah, Red King can definitely bait you easily. It's also why I don't enjoy him. We actually lost with this board, damn. So we got two pairs, sometimes three triples if we find two more alley cats, right? And our triples are tokens, or our pairs are tokens, so we have a lot of money as well, so we could go for a six drop perhaps. No pirates though, so that means no Eliza, but we can get, um... Yeah, this guy also beats me. Power level to tier 3 has a banner boar, road boar. Oh, we tied. That's good. <laughs> Money. Okay, next turn I level again, and then we gotta finally do something, right? Because this board is actually kind of pepega. I'm gonna save my money for now. I'm not gonna change anything. Next turn I might change up my board because I have a lot of like I could sell both of these if I want to and sell this and then we got three gold out of nowhere. I don't it kind of feels bad to waste so much money. I just need to hit a triple. The thing is we don't have a triple hero power. Usually as may have like 
you're powering a triple, so that way you can level and then you just get the triple, right? Well, now we're in a position where we have to buy the triple in the same turn, which makes it awkward, because that means I need to level, sell a bunch of shit, and buy the triple, and so I'll just get the triple from Hero Power while leveling. So, that's a little bit worse, but it should still work out for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe winnable. Fuck, okay, never mind. If we value traded into the Taunted Tahina, yeah, we, we, we tied this. We level again, we hit a triple in the shop, we win. Mm. No triple in the shop. Both of these are tempting because I have two taunts if I want to. I don't think I can hold here, right? Oh shit. Need to get a bit stronger here. My board was so bad. I still have some money left. Wow, okay, dude. Okay, we took away the highest star units on this board, but that's kind of insane. Now we need to triple. It's turn 6 for tier 4. Where's... Come on. Fuck, that's not it. I think I have to stay down. Please, just ha like, I have three pairs here. This, this, this. Please, please. Fuck. I don't think we can take a six. I'll take a five. You have a good Manesh set up as well. A lot stronger here. That's a bronk. Doing fine, man. You're kind of lukewarm on Xerella when announced. I think she's fine, yeah. I indeed didn't like her. Like, I st still don't understand why she's good. I, st the, I think the only justification I have for her being decent is that she um, is flexible. She's a worse Nozdomu, worse Yogg. She's a worse everything, but the flexibility of her early game being fine if there's Tokus in the lobby and her late game being fine. And the fact that she can do everything I think makes her a good hero. I don't think she's tier 1, I think she's tier 2-ish. I think I can take the Hydra. Oh my god, the Nomis, man. <laughs> What is this board? <laughs> if we could take Flatusk and we just try to hit Agam and then we win, right? Flatusk, Agam, win the lobby, easy clap. Coiler is more tempo. Coiler is a good beast and more tempo. But... Flatusk. We're not gonna hear power here. I could sell this to hear power with it. Uh, I guess I can stick a tune, it doesn't matter, 2-2, two, two, right? So I think it's worth... Sure. <laughs> the Red King almost died.
Oh, I could have killed this thing. That's fine. Yeah, Agamemnon's... If we just hit Agamemnon, I think we... I, I'm not gonna jinx it. Every time I say that, I, I die. But we're in a good position if we find Agam. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Never mind. We, we might be dead. This guy is massive. I think we have to take Spore here. I hate it. Okay, wait a second. It's actually not bad. Can I afford to take this? <sighs> Probably not. Uh, I don't think I can. If I play these, I have to sell two. I have to sell three. I actually get weaker. I don't think I can. It's too late. We had nothing this round. I assume we are gonna take it. I don't think we're dead though. I don't think we should be dead here. I'm gonna play a bumper still. There's no way that he deals 17. He dealt 17 to the Lich King, but Lich King has no triples. Fuck, my poison does nothing pretty much. Okay, good thing we kept the taunts. I just need to kill his most expensive units of your fine, right? Okay. Mm. Okay. I think we are guaranteed alive. Yeah. This dude. That guy. No! There we go. Wait a second. Seven, eight, nine. You can sell the taunts. Don't even have that many tribes, I just realized. Hmm. I could have gotten that one. I could have played that. Oh no, it's um. Yeah, I could have um. Bought that if I had the time with the elementals. Okay, this seems very beatable. I think we stabilized. Unless I somehow misjudge his board. Oh, he does have Momo. Hmm. Hmm. I might have misjudged. Please don't tell me I misjudged. We got the mama bear. He keeps bumping my shields. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Okay, yeah, the spawn was ended up being a lot of stats here. He bumped my shield again. Fuck, dude. Okay. We're fine if we just avoid. If we need. No, we are always fine, okay. Whew! This game is just like a nail biter, dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we keep facing people that are stronger. I think I do buy this. We don't have a Murloc, right? I mean, I could play a Murloc. I would have to sell too much. No, it doesn't work on this board. Sell this, no, it doesn't work. Like, I can't do brand this and no, no, no. This is one gold for a blood gem. I think I take that. Hmm, it's a triple. I think you have to do it like this, right? Fuck time, dude. 
that's a beast that'll never be stirred. Oh no 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 time. Why do I have so little time? What the fuck is going on? Why do I have spore for- oh again scopers that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, is this winnable? Let's find out. Is he bigger than me? Mm, some things are bigger than me. That was so good of him. Ah, oh, he's doing um ground shaker. Okay, that explains why he's so big. Now we beat him. Okay. Dude, this is close. He's murdering people, but he's just playing for like max tempo. We have a better late game going and better like overall scaling. This flicks though, dude. I, I forget how much APM this takes. I'm like, I usually think a lot about my turns, but when it comes to Agam Flatusk, I just underestimate how much I need to get in. Because I like overthinking. <laughs> Do we sell Spore? So we get more Blood Gems in? I like think so, I have no time to think. Let's hope we find a good replacement, like Selfless. Hmm, or something like that, sure. Nice. Perfect. All according to plan. All according to plan. Why don't you postpone- wait, position the wind freeze before the dragon? Because they have lower attack, right? I just value the attack more, I think. Like, my position right now is first I have Bumper, then I have Poison, then I have, um, like, my big dude. Then I have Coiler, because Coiler can summon Nadina, I can summon Forward Perk, I can summon Eliza. I like putting, um, Co like, Coiler and, and Sneeds early. Oh, no, I cannot summon Eliza, um, but, yeah, I like putting stuff like that early, because it can have extra value. And now I just put these in the back, I don't really care about the Wind Fury. I still have this in hand, but I'm never gonna play it, am I? Oh, that seems like a good freeze to me. Right? So much stats. In a max, not probably comes out. Or the flat tusk. They're probably a flat tusk. From zero to hero. Whoa, is this like a Nomi guy? Yeah, he played Nomi. Took 24. This guy's playing Menager, right? Two dragons? Wait, do we remember what she. Oh, yeah, she had the Light Fang. The early Light Fang. She's on five triples. Mm. The issue is we don't kill her, so if I sell my scaling, I'm kind of like done with everything I can do. If that makes sense. That's a triple. <laughs> it's not worth it. Right. Hmm. Do I sell something here for three more blood gems? I can roll more as well. I served a drink to a I think so. Little right faces as well. I really need to hit. Like, we could triple this, but that's not really worth it. I'm really just looking for, um... Shit. 
No selfless? I'm gonna roll more. Come on, selfless. Fuck me. Oh, I shouldn't have played that yet. I'm wasting buffs here. Fuck. I wasted all my buffs on this instead of this. It's a misplay. I don't think we could have kept the, the flat to see. I really hoped we hit something better though. This guy plays ghoul, golden, selfless? We got his amalgam. Yeah, we beat him, right? We're so much bigger than him, it's unreal. He does have a cleave, we don't have a cleave. And he has this thing, so maybe I jinxed it. Just the cleave can't attack again, okay. No, I didn't jinx it. But yeah, as expected, this guy's not dead. Very alive. No son rag saved me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The rag was able to kill the Amalgadon. Um, um I could ghoul him. We counter ghoul each other. Okay, that's uh, that's good. Let's triple it now. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I need taunts, but it doesn't. This guy doesn't skill anymore either, right? I think he sold his scaling. And he has a golden Mitrex. We have one poison. Jug is still a lot of stats. Mm. Not Dina, no. No, we just gotta hit another selfless. I have a poison in the bag because we know we have he has the poison of Margaret on right. So I'd rather have this go into it instead of this, obviously. Nice, and a bumper. This cleave isn't gonna be too good, I assume. Mm, gets a cleave on my shield here. Yeah, okay. We should win this. One HP. He got my poison, though. And that's also a bad hit. Fuck, okay, wait. These hits are not great. Jack, wait. Wait, we should still win, because we have two shields left. He has nothing left, right? But the issue is again, do we kill him? And I think the answer is once again, no. Wait, the divine shield is bugged. What? <laughs> yeah, we don't kill him. Fuck! Nice issue is if I find selfless, I need to sell something for it. I just. Hope you roll. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we learn we're learning a lot of ghouls now, but um it's not really what I'm looking for. Oh mm. I mean this guy's ghoul. Yeah, okay. Can't get to it. Fuck. This is so close. I beat him twice in a row. If I lose now on this third time, I'm gonna be upset. I think a position like this now because this thing just keeps fucking. I think this position is better. What do I need to switch gems over for? I get to switch gems of this, I guess, but I, I really just need to triple selfless. Like, what do I sell as well? I can't really sell anything for Necrolite, right? Ah, oh, shit. This time we attack for... Oh, this is so bad. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. We might actually lose on the third time. You beat this guy twice in a row. Third time we're gonna lose. <laughs> this poison got my biggest dude. My poison... Okay. Yeah. This time we lose. Ah, oh, that sucks so much, man. We're clearly stronger, we beat him every round, but this this round we got super shit hit, so we die. 